All right, where y'all at? Can I have my cup, please? It's on the counter. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, where y'all at? Come on in. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you live? Mm-hmm. Hello, people. Hello. How are you? Hello, people. What y'all talking about today? Am I bothering you? kids do me uh yeah where y'all at where are my nay yay sayers at where, where my nay yay sayers at so kanye west kanye west uh, let me read some comments here because i know y'all y'all just want to try to find something just something Something about him not being a Christian. Something. Just just gotta find something about him. So let's 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 get it. Where are the Nayay Sarah's at? Where you at, Lisa Tracy? Come on. Let's have a conversation. Come on. Enough of the text. Let's have a conversation. I'll invite you right on into the to the live. Come on, Lisa. Where y'all at? What did y'all have a problem with about Kanye this time? What did he say that was that was so blasphemous, so wrong? You know that he's not a Christian. You know, he needed he needed to you know uh, denounce Dev Jam. Uh, come on, let's 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 see how perfect our walk with Christ is since we've been saved all these years versus a person who just got saved a year ago. Let's let's go ahead and have this conversation, shall we? Come on, Lisa. Come on. Let's have the conversation. Uh, did y'all watch the interview that uh, Joel Osteen had with Kanye West at, at Lakewood? Oh, by the way, my my daughter and I will be going to the service, the the, uh, the worship service uh, tonight. Um, so I'm going to check out the, the the church service and see what's going on, and, uh, and and you know see for myself. You know, I'm just curious. I'm just curious about about it. And so my oldest daughter and I we're gonna go tonight. Um I had to leave early so we can uh get a seat. But uh the tickets were free. Oh and by the way there were nobody uh the, the tickets were not uh sold. They were they were given freely. So now that takes care of another rumor and another allegation, another false uh statement and uh false accusation against Kanye West, uh people accusing him of doing it for profit. Uh, so I'm trying to find out why are we, or I didn't say we, cause I want to be included in this one. Sorry. Uh, why are some of you accusing this man of not being a Christian? Why, why are you all trying to add more weight and more yoke to his neck than what he already has by his savior? Uh, the man, the man actually, uh, blasted every coward Every coward Christian like Kurt Franklin, even though he didn't mention Kurt Franklin's name. But if you remember, yeah, this is about Kanye, Katina. Yep. Uh, if you remember the Pablo album, if you remember the Pablo album, uh, he said it on the interview that, you know, he wanted he, he thought it was going to be a Christian album. And, and knowing what he knows now, uh, that those Christian artists and people who were professing Christians, what Kanye said, knew it was not going to be a Christian album, but instead of telling him the truth, they didn't because of who he was. I mean, he indicted, he indicted every Christian artist who wanted to hop on that album with him, knowing that Kanye West was not a Christian yet. So that's an indictment. Um, then he also mentioned and talked about uh, sin, repentance. He 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 mentioned he listen. He gave the gospel. Um, you know, even Joel Osteen said he he spoke more truth and more 
in his interview with Joel Osteen, then Joel Osteen gave him a 30 minute sermon. That's what Joel Osteen said himself. If you don't think about Joel Osteen, you know that's, that that has to be true. So, um, but but I'm, I'm just trying to find out for those of you who are the naysayers, those of you who are, you know, still saying that Kanye needs to do this and Kanye needs to do that in order for y'all to consider him to be a brother in Christ. And I would say, by what standard are you making that assessment? And by and what standard are you making that statement uh, that he has to jump through your theological hoops other than going through the narrow gate that Christ himself has already told him that he needs to go through? So I'm just trying. I'm just trying to find out where where we're getting this from, uh, because mm -hmm. I, I know that uh, some of you, you know, are just you just you just hell bent. You just hell bent on trying to disprove this man's testimony, and and, and if you can't, uh, uh, oh, that's cool. Continue, no problem. Yeah, it'll it'll be on the. Uh, I have it on my on my on my uh, page, so that that shouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, so. I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, uh, figure out what's the spirit and attitude and heart behind some of you who are uh, just dissatisfied with this with this man. Um, why why are you not receiving him as a fellow brother uh, in Christ, knowing that? If he was an average person, you you would have done it. If it was one of your family members and, and, and they would have turned from their sin and they would have repented and trusted in Christ, you would have done, you know, your attitude would have been totally different than what than what you are giving toward toward Kanye. Um, so um, we're, we're supposed to receive people based on their profession of faith as fellow brethren in Christ. That's what we see in Scripture. I, I don't see how we get this mentality and mindset that a person has to go through all of these um, theological hoops to prove that they are accepted. So, where, where y'all at? Where y'all at? I mean, let's have a conversation. I, I mean, I read some of the I read some of the statements. Let me see. I read my sister Lisa Tracy's comment because she was one of the ones that was saying that this man is not, you know, saved. Lisa, you said this 26 minutes ago. You said, still speaking against what Christians should be doing, that's easy to do. But he sure ain't spoke against that Antichrist label he's part of and the Antichrist music industry. Lisa, let me ask you a question. Um, Yeah. So... Do you work for a company company that that follows God? Do you do you work for a company that follows God, Lisa, Sister Lisa Tracy? Um, any of you, any, you know, any of you. But the question is is directed to my sister. If you work for a company uh, that, that does not honor God and is not uh, um, you know, um, a company that puts God first. What what can you say? You're not doing that. What can you say, Lisa? Um, if you work for a company or if you support a company that does not honor God, um, have you spoken out against your company? Have you spoken against your your employer? I'm pretty sure you probably haven't. So, but is your company telling you to do anything that is immoral, unethical? Um, you know, that would be the question. So, so you, we could work for a godless employer. We can work for a uh, dishonorable company but yet not be one ourselves. I'm just, you know, yeah, maybe D, maybe. So I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out what's by what standard, you know? Um, um, so he, he needs to denounce Def Jam, although he's already denounced the entire music industry. Although this man has already denounced every artist that, promotes immorality 
Would that not include Def Jam, Lisa Tracy? Would that not include every music industry that promotes violence, promotes promiscuity, promotes the destruction of the family? Would that not include Def Jam Records? So what more does this man have to do, Lisa, for you and others like you to accept him as my Bible says? And I'm going to read it because I think that's where we fail. We fail to read what the Bible says regarding how we are to receive other fellow believers. Romans chapter 15 and verse Seven. Wherefore, accept one another just as Christ also accepted us to the glory of God. So, Lisa, my sister in Christ, based on your profession of faith, I accept you as a sister in Christ. And you and I have never, ever ever hung out together, never, ever spent time in the word together, never, ever done life on life together, never, ever broke bread together. But by your sheer profession of faith, because of what you have professed and proclaimed out of your mouth, I accept you as a sister in Christ. Why aren't you doing the same for Kanye West, who has publicly on a much grander and broader platform and scale have done the same thing that you and I have done on our much smaller platform and scales. I'll wait. I'll wait for you to respond. What more does he have to do? I'm just asking. Maybe somebody can tell me. Because I'm, I'm curious. And I'm somewhat confused. What, what more does a person have to do in order to be accepted into God's family uh, than what God's word has already said? I'm just asking. I mean, somebody tell me something. I, I'm just, I just want to know. I mean, what, what's the, by what standard? What standard, people? What, what standard must he, must he, you know, must he uh, adhere to? What standard must he subscribe to? What, what standard must he stand upon in order to be received as a saint of God? See, it's so quick for it's so easy for us to be so quick to you know come to conclusions about people, um, and then question their motives. Lisa, you did that too yesterday, and I wanted to. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find that because I want I wanted to go out here on online since it's put out here. And since you have people who follow you, uh, they need to know what you said as well, too. Just like they need to know what I said. Um, let me let me find it here. And bear, bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, we need to deal with these issues here. Let's 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 address these issues that we are uh, making and statements that we're making. Um, about a fellow believer who has professed faith and trust in Christ. And now we're saying that, um, you know, he needs to, he needs to do more denouncing. <laughs> he needs to do more denouncing other than what he's already denounced. That, that is amazing to me. <sighs> My goodness. Uh, let's see. And bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I, I want to find it because I don't want to misquote my sister. Because I want you to hear exactly what my sister said regarding another brother in Christ that she does not believe um, is a Christian. So let me let me let me pull it here, and maybe it, it may be on her page. Um, but I know I saw it because I got a notification on it when she made the comment. So, uh, let me just go there. <sighs> 
She says on her page 11 hours ago, there are about nine Bible verses that tell us to sing unto the Lord a new song. However, when it comes to Kanye, no, nah, I'll just take Atomic Dog and throw some gospel lyrics on top of it, end quote. Uh, okay, but since he's a baby Christian, he's in the clear. And she has hashtag Kurt Franklin's protege, hashtag the cult of Kanye. Hmm. Interesting post. I don't know if there's biblical support behind that because anybody that knows about progressive sanctification, we know that we don't arrive at perfection. And neither would we ever arrive at perfection. We strive. We strive. We work out our salvation. Um, oh no, no, no. You're you're fine. You're fine, here, but it's not it's not it's not your sound, it's me. I just was I just was waiting. Um, I was trying to look for something. Um, hopefully that's what you're talking about. Then she says the Bible has an entire book called Judges. But Christians be saying, don't judge. I, I don't know. I, yeah, maybe some Christians do say that, but hopefully they're not using that as the, as the point. Uh, then she says, God is God all by himself. He does not need Kanye as a vessel to get the gospel message to people. Please stop it. No, God doesn't need him, but God uses him just like he uses you and I. Then Lisa Tracy says, so, and she has in big capital letters, she says, so, we're just going to act as if local churches have not been preaching, singing, and ministering to prisons for years, and that Kanye is doing a new thing. Then she has Matthew 6, 3. So let's turn to Matthew 6, 3 for a second. I know what it says, but I want to read it for the case and in, 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 for the hearing of those who may not know it and in context, Matthew chapter 6, verse 3, I read it yesterday, but I'll read for verse 2 for context. It says, when therefore you give alms, do not sound the trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets that they may be honored by men. Truly, I say to you, they have their reward in full. But whenever you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, that your alms may be in secret and your father who sees in secret will repay you. And actually the word alms literally means deeds of charity, deeds of kindness, deeds of love. Okay. So, um, Kanye has never done that. So let's just focus on what Kanye West is doing and let's not, let's not be the jealous older brother in Luke 15 and say what other people have been doing. I don't really care what other people have been doing. What I care about is a new is a new believer in Christ now performing the deeds of righteousness, the deeds of repentance. He's taking his influence. He's taking his resources. He's taking the things that he once used for the devil and now using it to the delight and praise of God. That's what I'm looking at. I don't, I don't care about whether your mama went to the, the prisons or whether your pastor's grandmama or your pastor's uncle's brother, sister's cousin went to the jails and the prisons and they did it. I don't care about that. Who cares? They're not the focus right now. They're not the, the subject of conversation. The subject of conversation is Kanye West, who declared himself to be God himself. And now God has changed his heart and God has humbled him and God has made him now his tool. That's what we're talking about. And so now we're seeing a young babe in Christ performing deeds of repentance. And yet you, Lisa Tracy, and other people like yourself in the family of God are looking down on this man and are condemning this man and questioning the sincerity of his faith because of what? That's what I'm asking. Based on what biblical precedent do you have to question the sincerity of this man's faith and trust and salvation in Christ? Based on what? 
And if you use Def Jam as, as your excuse, you need to stop that because that's weak as puppy pee. Because he's already denounced the industry. Now, if he's under contractual obligation to, to do whatever, whatever, then that's that's between him and the country. He has honored that. But he does not honor a contract by dishonoring God. So you can do both, right? We can chew gum and walk at the same time on this Christian on this Christian road. I can say, you know what? I'm working for an ungodly, unjust, unruly employer, but at the same time, I can work as unto the glory of God by not doing what this ungodly, unjust, unruly employer is doing. Because we see that in scripture. We do see that in scripture, Sister Tracy. So I'm 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 just trying to understand here. Try to understand why you would why would you use Matthew 6 3 unless unless my sister you have now placed yourself in the position of being God. And now you're saying that this man is doing what he's doing to be seen. And then I would ask you again, based on what biblical precedent are you judging the motives and intent? Of another servant of God's heart. Has he said that? Has he alluded to that by statement? Has he walked around and said, I, I'm doing this to be seen? Or has he been saying since he has been a Christian, I'm doing this to show God off? He said the latter. He says, I want to show God off. God is, God is showing what we are doing off to the world. And you know what? Whether Kanye West knows that, he's on biblical ground. He, he's on that Ephesians 2.10 ground. He's on that, that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. That, that's what he's on. He's on that, 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 you know, oh, I don't know. They let your light so shine before men, you know, that one, the whole Matthew Beatitudes thing. Yeah. He's being sought in light. He's penetrating and he's providing illumination and light to people who are in, in, in our city in darkness. And you're saying that this person Kanye West is not genuine because he has not denounced. He is not, uh, what was your word? Um, the Antichrist label that he's a part of. So what? So what, my sister? So what? What does that have to do with his soul? What does that have to do with the fact of what he's doing now? That's what I'm asking. That's what I'm asking. Because let's, let's be honest. You've probably been saved longer than Kanye West. How's your sanctification walk going? I'll wait again. What have you denounced? What deeds of the flesh have you laid aside? What sins are you not letting buffet you? Not buffet, but buffet. What Remaining sins are still reigning sins in your life. Because he, he's a baby. He's on milk. You've been eating steak for a while. So let's talk about Kanye. Well, let's talk about let's talk about you. Let's talk about ourselves, shall we? Let's let's talk about what we are doing. What 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 are we denouncing? Publicly before the world. Hmm? I mean, really, what? Tell me. I'll wait. Are we more focused, or, or, or particularly you, are you more focused upon what this man is doing because there's some covetousness in your heart? Just asking. Just a question because I'm looking at your post and you're saying, you know, Kanye ain't doing this and Kanye ain't doing that. Okay, I mean, so what does it have to do with you? I'm just asking. What 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 does that have to do with what God has called Lisa Tracy to do? 
Just asking. What what is what what are you supposed to be doing? So someone someone um even on your page was kind of like asking you, you know, to to let me just read it here. Uh Yeah. My brother Alvin Ramey said this <clears throat> to you. And this is in the same post that you put up, um, Lisa. You said, so we're just going to act as though local churches, as if local churches have not been preaching, singing, and ministering to prisons for years. Nobody said that, but that's the red herring and the straw man you build up. Uh, and that Kanye is doing a new thing, Matthew 6 3. And so Alvin Ramey said, Lisa, it's not about Kanye, it's about the people that get to hear because of Kanye. His name could be Timmy. If he had the access and platform to reach many with the gospel, I would be sharing it also. This brother is putting comfortable believers to shame. He's been saved a couple of months and has already witnessed to a portion many hasn't witnessed to in 20 to 30 years. He's basically doing exactly what I do at a level I'm not at. So instead of me getting mad or instead of and so instead of me getting mad at my faithfulness, didn't reap the platform he has. I'm walking as Paul did in Philippians 1, 15 through 20. I'm just celebrating that Jesus is being preached and his name is glorified. And you would think. You would think that that would stop the conversation right there. You would think that after what this brother said. That would be it. Because Alvin Ramey is on point. He's spot on. But no, 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 no. Lisa, you responded to Alvin and said, so my question is, have you posted about people that have been doing this for years on your post? Have you tagged them and given props? If not, then, then this is about Kanye for you and you're in denial. Wow. So because a person doesn't post what you think they should post on their page, Lisa, they're in denial because they're sharing what, what Kanye is doing because he has a greater platform and greater, and greater influence than, than, than Alvin, Ramey, and I combined. And you're charging this man with being in denial? Come on, Lisa. Sister, come on. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> and so... Alvin Raymond responded to Lisa and says, quote, absolutely. We don't post anything for the person doing it. When we share it, it is for people that will see it. it I'll basically share anything when I know Jesus is being preached. I wish it wasn't Kanye doing this. That way people wouldn't be so focused on him. It's not about him. It's about Jesus. You would think that that would stop the conversation going, but oh, no, 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 no. Doesn't stop the conversation going because Lisa, you responded to this brother and said this. So why should you be posting anything like that at all? Matthew 6, 3 should apply or should actually apply here. Now, let me just stop right there for a second. Let me read to you what the scripture says. Because see, this is what happens when we think we know our Bibles and we try to eisegete and strip and just proof text of text out of its intended context to prove a point. And we don't have to do that. So I'm going to read what the scripture says about this. Turn with me to the Proverbs chapter 27 and verse 2. Because it would be different if Kanye West was doing this out of, a, out of an insincere heart. He was doing this... Um, to make a name for himself because he was already was famous before he became a Christian. But anyway, but anyway, let, let's, let's just read Proverbs 27, verse 2. The Bible says, let another praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. So Lisa, sister in Christ. The Bible says it's one thing if you were to be praising your own self and you were to be giving yourself glory. We know that is sin. We know that is pride. But the Bible says, let another man praise you. Let another man give you your props. Let another man post what you're putting up there for the world to see. Let another man uh, uh, congratulate you. Let another man say, man, this brother, this sister is doing it for the kingdom and glory of God. That's what I'm not making it up. Am I in the Bible? Is that what the text says? He says, let 
another man praise you. Speak well of you. Give props to you. Give credos to you. The attaboys to you. A stranger and not your own lips. But you say, Lisa, Kanye is sinning because of what? When Alvin is trying to show you, how is this about Kanye? When Kanye is exalting Christ. See, the people making it about Kanye are those who are not happy and celebrating what God has done through Kanye. Those are the ones that's the problem. The problem is, act is actually not us, Lisa. The problem is actually you. You're jealous. And you're thinking that you're speaking on behalf of those who've been in and in the field, who've been out here sweating it and doing it. Listen, listen, listen. I don't care what another man does as long as what that man is doing brings glory to God. I do not care. I really don't care because I understand and I know and have learned through the word of God that all of us don't have the same platform. All of us don't have the same influence. All of us don't have the same sphere of, of, of people that we encounter and interact with. I understand that. So I understand the greater the influence, the greater the responsibility, and also the greater accountability that I would have to stand before my father when I see him. I understand that. Lisa, and those who listen and think like Lisa does, do you understand that? Do you understand that all of us are not going to be 100 fold or 100 talent or five talent Christians that we are. Some of us are one, two and five. Some of us have 30, 60, 100 fold results. And all of us are still working for the same master on the same plantation. And he has equipped us based on our ability to handle certain things. What sense and what kind of wisdom would God have if he knows that you are a one talent Christian, a one talent saint, and he gives you five talents when you're only able to handle the one? What sense is he, would, would God make to give you being a five talent Christian and give you one? The text says, the Bible says he gives to each one of us according to our ability. Why is it so hard for some of you to comprehend and to grasp that simple, biblical, scriptural concept? Why? Because you're jealous. That's all it is. There's, there's no other way of saying it. To have this type of attitude toward a fellow believer, it shows what your heart really is like. Because again, it would be totally different if this if this man started out and we say, well, you know what? I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. There, 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 there's there's some there's a, a sense of understanding or person just coming out and you know, and we're not sure about the conversion. That's one thing. Because all of us have been there. We we see that with the apostles when it came to Paul. We see that. But some of y'all know and have heard what this man has said and are seeing what this man is doing and yet you are still treating him as though he is an unbeliever and that is sin. That's wrong. That's totally wrong because you're not God. You didn't die for him. You're not keeping him and you didn't make him. God did. And this is why I keep putting up scripture after scripture after scripture, telling you and I, reminding you and I that we are not to judge the servant of another. In, in the context of, of, of Romans 14, verse 4 and Romans 14, verse 10 is regarding issues of preference and of conscience. 
So because Kanye is not doing a certain thing the way you think he should do it or say a certain thing the way you think he should say it, now you're going to condemn him and judge him. And God says, take your mouth off of him. Who are you to judge the servant of another? To his own master he stands or falls and stand he will. Why? Because the Bible says the Lord is able to make him stand. Verse 10, verse 10 says, who are you to judge your brother? Oh, I'm not making it up. I'll turn to it. Romans 14. Make sure you get it all in the ear hole here. Romans 14, verse 10. But what? But you, why do you judge? Notice he didn't say your neighbor. He says your brother. God calls him your brother, your sister. He says, who are you? But you, why do you judge your brother? Or again, why do you regard your brother with contempt? For we all shall stand before the judgment seat of God. Notice, he didn't say the great white throne judgment. He says the Bema seat, the judgment seat of God. That means only Christians stand before the judgment seat of God for the deeds that we do in our body so that we would be rewarded or we would lose rewards. Not to determine whether or not you and I are saved. That's the great white throne judgment. Only those who are not saved stand at that throne. You and I, as Christians, we are standing before the Bema seat, the reward seat of God. We are going to give an account for everything we say, everything we thought, and everything we do. That's Bible. So to judge a man because he's not doing things the way you should do it or I should do it, God says that's wrong judging. That's not John 7, 24 judging. That's not making a righteous judgment. This is making an unrighteous judgment based on disputable preferential matters. And I'm telling you, we need to be careful. Stop trying to sell somebody that they're not saved because they're not doing things the way you think it should be done. When you have no book, chapter, and verse, and then when you try to provide a book, chapter, and verse, you butcher the book, the chapter, and the verse. Because Matthew 6, 3 has nothing to do with Kanye West unless you know Kanye West's heart. And since you're not the fourth member of the Trinity, you do not. So stop it, Lisa. Just stop. I say that as lovingly, but I say that as, as, as strong as I can to you as a sister in Christ. You need to really stop doing that. Stop twisting the scripture, try to make it fit your point. Because to do that puts you on dangerous ground more than you think Kanye is on dangerous ground. God says those who twist the scripture, they do so to their own destruction. You don't want that. Either rightly interpret the scriptures, or don't quote the scriptures at all. But don't charge somebody with crime of, of sinning against God when they have not sinned. Don't charge somebody with the crime of being an imposter when they're not an imposter. You don't know Kanye's heart. God does. All we know is that this man has made a public profession of faith. He is publicly declaring and saying that Jesus Christ is Lord. He has turned away from his former way of life and he's turning to Christ and yet you and others are still trying to charge this man as being the old Kanye. And I heard this man again of all places at Lakewood Church publicly preach or publicly testify, if you want to use that term, of the gospel of repentance. This man said repentance at least three times that I heard, at least three times. He talked about sin. He talked about how we are to guard our families and, and particularly our daughters from being indoctrinated, from being uh, uh, used by the culture. What more do you want this man to say that he has not already been saying? What interviews are you watching? I mean, what else does this man have to do? So I'm looking, I'm looking for all you, all you yay naysayers. That's what I'm looking for. Where y'all at? Because I know Lisa Tracy ain't the only one. 
Y'all tripping about a man who now has turned to Christ and treating him as he is not a part of the body of Christ. I, I, I don't understand that. I do not understand that. See, what, what it shows me, and I'm not, I'm not making any excuses for it because excuses are not going to wash with God, but I can understand. I, I don't agree, but I understand. I understand why a lot of people who are not saved look at those of us who are saved and say, you know what? Man, please, I, I, don't, I don't want what you got. I'm not making excuses for it, but I do understand. I understand what Kanye West meant when he had his, when he did the song "Pray for Me." I, I, I can I can I can I totally understand. That song was a was a, was an appeal for acceptance. That song was an appeal for fellow brothers and sisters in Christ to receive another one who has come to Christ. And you know what some of y'all do? Nope. You got to go through this Kanye. You got to denounce this Kanye. You got to do that Kanye. You got to take this Kanye. You got to... That ain't what the Bible says. That's not what the Bible says. What the Bible says is what he already did. He turned from his sins and turned to Christ. That's what the Bible says. So where are you getting your requirements from? Because I don't see, I just don't see why in the, in the Bible where, where we're, we're to tell people to do more than what God is on. Matter of fact, isn't that what the Pharisees did? So maybe, maybe, maybe there are more Pharisees in the, in the, in the church than what we want to think were in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe, maybe that's, that's the, that's the attitude that some of you have. You, you honestly think that you are being a, a gatekeeper and you're more like being a gate blocker. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because I don't I don't see what biblical authority and based on what biblical authority you and I have to tell a person um, that they're not a Christian because they haven't done certain things that you think that they should do. And you don't have book, chapter, verse and support. That's, 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 th those are the ones that I really go hard on. I go hard on those that, that cause and oppress God's people um, and put on them more restraints and more yokes than what God himself would ever do. And, and in fact, I was thinking about a verse and I, and I found it, uh, came to mind, Acts 15 Y'all yeah, know the story. Remember, remember in the in the uh, remember the council in the church of Jerusalem. They were telling people that you know they had to uh, be circumcised and they had to follow the customs of, of of Moses, you know, Judaism and all that kind of stuff. Remember that? Had a big old argument about it, and and, and actually it was brought to the attention of the apostles. And uh, I, I read verse. Uh, I'm going to read verse, verse 6. It says, And the apostles and elders came together to look into, and to look into this matter. And after there had been much debate, Peter stood up and said to them, Brethren, you know that in the early days God made a choice among you that by the mouth of the Gentiles, that by the mouth of the Gentiles should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And, and God, who knows the heart. Oh. Wait a minute. What did verse 8 just say? And God, who knows the heart. Not Seiko, not Lisa Tracy, not April Dawn Stickley, not Andrea Hines, not Cindy D, not Sharinda L. Hampton, not Sharon Renee Woods, not Loretta White, uh, not Moses Dolo, uh, not Sean Rito Scott. God, who knows the heart. And verse nine says, and he made no distinction between us and them, cleansing their hearts by faith. Now, verse 10, therefore, why did you put God to the test by placing upon the neck of the disciples? Hmm. Mouth that tastes, I believe. It says to me that they are a uh, learner. 
Learner of what? Well, it says right here, now therefore, why do you put God to the test by placing upon the neck of the disciples a yoke which neither our fathers nor we have been able to bear? But we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they were. You know, when you add requirements, when you add stipulations, when you add standards to the word of God, that's a yoke that God has never placed upon those that he has drawn to himself. So Lisa, sister, I ask you, tell me, please, where are you getting your information from that supports barring and withholding the receptivity of a fellow or reception of a fellow brother in Christ as a brother in Christ. Because can I be honest for a second? How do we know each other in this in this live are saved? I mean, tell me, seriously, let's let's let's, let's have a quick dialogue. How do you and I know that each one of us are saved? Tell me how. How do we know? Because I've only met maybe less than a handful of some of you personally. I met Lur I, I know I met Loretta White personally. I met her personally. I met Sean Rito Scott personally. You know her personally. Live in the same city. Um, um, anybody else in here? Maybe I don't think I know you personally. So 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 how how do I know that those of you who are in this live? Are Christians. Should, should I withhold my reception of you as a fellow brother or sister in Christ? I mean, because that's that should be the standard across the board then. Because if, if, if I have to wait to see something versus going by why what going by what I heard and then let by what I heard be proven by what is being shown to me, then we need to we need to we need to, you know. Step back for a second. I'm just asking, how, how do we know each one of us are saved? Tell me. How do we know that? Because everybody can say they're a Christian, right? So how, how do we know that? How do I know that you are a Christian when I never met you? Answer by what you say. Then support it or confirmed and denied and or denied by what you show. That's it. That is it. That's the only way. If you say you're a Christian, then now I hold you to the standards of Christianity, which is the Bible right here. Once your life either gives evidence or it dis, uh, disagrees with the word of God, as a pattern of life, then I can make the determination based on what you do, right? And that, that's, that's, it says, it's by their fruits we will know them. So knowing a person by their fruits would take some examining, right? Knowing a person by their fruits would take some sense of judgment, knowing what, 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 what godly fruit looks like and ungodly fruit looks like. So that is how we know. That is the only way we know. And even that, is not perfect, but we only going by what we see. And it goes through a course of a pattern of a person's life. That's it. So, sister, when you make these statements about Kanye West in your conversation to, uh, to Alvin Ramey, and he tells you, it's not about Kanye, it's about Jesus. And you say, well, so why should, why should you be posting anything like that at all? Matthew 6, 3 should apply, uh, actually apply here. Alvin Ramey says, well, because I don't have just Christians on my page. Everyone needs to see it, he says. I can just post my sermons or my music videos. I have a lot of them, but some won't watch my video because it's me. So I'll share a Kanye. I'll share no malice or bizzle or even flame just because some plant and some water, but God brings the increase. You say, Lisa, no malice is actually a prime example of what a true Christian convert looks like. Okay. And Alvin Raymond responds back to you and says, absolutely. And I've met him 
And he assured me that Kanye is even being discipled. This is all on my sister's page, so I'm not reading any private conversation. I'm reading what she says to another brother on the page about Kanye West. Then you ask this brother. So has this person told Kanye that he should sit down and be ministered to so that he can minister to his own family? <sighs> what? So he can't do both. Um, another verse comes to mind. Just John four, woman at the well. Um, I mean, she hears the matches of the kingdom. Um, she goes and see some men and she at this point verse 27 his disciples came and marveled that he had been speaking with a woman yet no one said what do you seek or why do you speak with her so the woman left her water pot and went into the city and said to the men come see a man who told me all the things that I have done this is not the Christ is it Um, did she sit down, get ministered to, so that she can, you know, minister to her family before she can talk about Christ? I mean, so what? What? What are the effects of the Great Commission? In fact, Acts nine. Remember the Ethiopian eunuch. Ethiopian eunuch, mm. you know, Philip comes to meet him on the on the road, and uh, <sighs> Ethiopian eunuch in verse thirty four in Acts nine says, "Please uh, tell me of whom does the prophet say this?" He's reading it in the book of Isaiah, and he talks about uh, talks about the suffering servant in Isaiah, uh, and that's what the Ethiopian eunuch is reading from. Verse 35 says, and Philip opened his mouth and beginning from the scripture, he preached Jesus to him. And as they went along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, water. What prevents me from being baptized? You know what the implication is? <laughs> this man sees water and knows what comes with that. He says, what prevents me from being baptized? So he knows that, that, that this water symbolizes something. He's just not sure what it is. So Philip says, if you believe with all your heart, you may. He says, and he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. And he ordered the chariot to stop. And they both went down into the water. Notice they weren't sprinkled, but that's another subject for another time. They both went down into, that's immersion, into the water, Philip as well as the eunuch, and he baptized him. And when they came up out of the water, the spirit of the Lord snatched Philip away and the eunuch saw him no more, but went on his way rejoicing. You know what that word rejoicing is? It's in the present active participle. He was so excited, so full of joy, so full of the fact that his sins had been forgiven. He went back where he came from, rejoicing and declaring what happened to him. That's in the participle. This is what he kept on doing. He kept on rejoicing. So can you imagine it? When, when you're excited about something, right? When you're excited about something and somebody sees you excited, what's the first thing that they ask you? 
What's, what, what's going on? What are you excited about? Right? What are you excited about? Because they see something about you. They see a demonstration of expression or exuberance and excitement and joy. And they want to know what's so exciting. What, what are you so excited about? What are you so amped and turned up about? What, what's going on? This man goes home. The text says, the Lord snatched Philip away and the eunuch saw him no more, but went on his way rejoicing. Is it possible that the zeal and the joy that Kanye has, remember, this is the same Kanye West that would proclaim and promote all manner of wickedness and evil. It's the same Kanye. He had no problem going to anyone and anywhere talking about the things that blaspheme the name of God in his this, in this concerts and in his shows. Now he's flipped it. And yet we can't be happy for him. So you said, has this person told Kanye that he should sit down and be ministered to so that he can minister to his own family? Alvin responds and says to you, I don't believe any person quits their job after they are saved. But once again, you are making it about Kanye. We got to keep the main thing, the main thing, Jesus. Kanye can say tomorrow, I'm done with Jesus. He said, Kanye can say tomorrow, I'm done with this Jesus stuff. We can't keep lifting him up. It's not about him. Philippians 1, 15 to 20. We celebrate the fact that Jesus is preached, not the motives behind them preaching Jesus. Here's what she said here. Here's what she said. Here's, here's, here, you know, here's a sin what well, Lisa Tracy is committing. Not Kanye. With our own sisters committing against another brother. False accusation. Quote. Somebody even stated that he's doing this out of his own dollar as if Def Jam, the label that produced his album, isn't sponsoring and paying him to fly this choir around. Uh, she says, let's stop acting as if he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart. I'm going to read that again. Let's not, I mean, excuse me, let's stop acting as if he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Lisa, Tracy, how do you know he's not doing it out of the kindness of his heart? Are you God? Do you know the innermost recesses of this man's heart and mind and conscience? Can you automatically, dogmatically say and base it on the authoritative word of God as your standard that this man is doing it with ulterior motives that you or I or anyone else, if they are be honest, we don't know? Can you honestly say that, Lisa? If so, show me. Biblically exegetically book chapter and verse where you're getting that last statement from let's stop acting as if he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart funny we didn't have a problem when he was blaspheming god and we said well of the abundance of the, of the heart the mouth speaks now this man says, Jesus is king. Jesus is Lord. I'm a Christian. Everything I want to I want to proclaim Jesus. I want God to show himself off and to show me off through what he's doing. Oh, we don't believe that because, you know, that's that's not him saying that. And I'm saying we need to stop it. Sister, you need to stop it. You need to stop it. You you have. You may not have millions of followers. You may not have thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of followers, but you got over 3,046 people following you. And you know what? The same standard that you're using for Kanye West, God is going to use that same standard for you. 
Because you don't have to have millions of followers to be held accountable for what you say and for what you do. You just got to have one. Just one. Just one. And so when you make statements like this and you don't have facts to back it up, you made a false accusation. You just violated the ninth commandment. And you, ma'am, need to repent because you're bearing false witness. Unless you know this man's, unless you know this man's heart, everything you say, you got 3,049 people following you, but you got almost 5,000. But in particular, and accurately, you got 4,991 friends on your page. 4,991 Facebook friends. And you got 3,000. 49 people who follow you. And, and here's the funny thing. You got more followers than I do. You have more friends on your page than I do. So, if you want to you wanna try to weigh the scales on this, whose influence is greater? Because you got more people that follow you on your page that, 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 are, that are watching what you're saying. So what about the people that you're, that you're you know, having on your page and hey, you make these statements about another brother in Christ and you're questioning this man's sincerity of faith and you're saying that this man is not doing it out of sincere hearts and you don't have biblical support for it. And now they believe what you say. You know the consequences for what happens is greater on you. Because you're misleading people into believing something that's not true and you don't have facts for it. Oh, y'all quiet though. Mm -hmm. Y'all quiet now. It's funny how when I go live and I'm asking for conversation, nobody wants to converse. But people are quick to post and make comments about people but don't want to have verbal conversation about it. But that's okay. I'm done anyway. Just wanted to put that out there. Just wanted to put that out there. I got some videos I need to post, I guess. I got to get two more hours before I leave because I am going to the uh, the church service at Lakewood to see um, Kanye uh, and to see the worship service there. Uh, the choir is definitely uh, good. Very, very good. Um, so I, I, I'm going to go and check it out. Uh, me, and my, me and my daughter, I'm going to check it out. So um, that's, that's it for me. Just wanted to put that out there. Just wanted to put that out there. So uh, you have any questions? Email me, Seiko Woods, S-A-I-K-O, Woods with an S at yahoo.com. Uh, I'm going to load this video up and post it on my YouTube page. I'm going to post the other one I did up on yesterday. Uh, just to keep this thing going. And uh, again, let's be people who are consistent. Okay? Let's start being consistent. And instead of uh, looking for reasons to... To attack those without any biblical basis for doing so. All right. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Hope y'all Lord's Day has been uh, been well. Um, and go with it. I see y'all when y'all see y'all. Y'all know the drill. Whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. God bless.